Hey everyone, Andrew at Microphonic Designs here at Alito High School. It's late. I'm uh, not totally feeling 100 percent tonight. Um, just not like, not like getting sick or anything, but I just think like you know exhaustion, general fatigue uh, this time of year. So um, anyhow, uh, Alito. This is my third full marching season with them, and uh, one of the big big things that they've invested in this year is a new mixer frame, which is excellent. Now this is by Core Design, which is a uh, company local here to the DFW area. Uh, they did not purchase this cart from uh, Microphonic Designs, but if you would like to purchase one of these from me, let me know. Uh, I am a dealer for Core Design. I think this is their FC Mix 24, I think. Uh, it's got a lot of space that we definitely need. Um, they also purchased a custom quick connect panel from uh, from me, so I actually made this, finished it up last night, and it's going to be a big help in help you know getting their mixer to have a, a nice long life. Also got their six channels of QLXD uh, plugged in here, and we've got two power conditioners: one for the soft electronics for the uh, the wireless and the mixer, and then the other one here uh, feeds power to the uh, speakers. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I've got my big Linksys router up there right now because I was double checking channels and stuff. The front ensemble layout is um, pretty straightforward. Uh, it didn't really change from last year, but we dismantled the entire system so that I could go through and uh, just sort of test all the cabling, make sure we're good uh, and re re you know, re-color code everything, reinstall everything. That's good to go because last year we were using the same setup as the year before, uh, and so it was just time to redo it. So. I've got uh, two modular snakes. We've got marimbas one, two, three, and four, all kind of meeting into the center marimba here. So you'll see I've got, uh, uh, you know, the four cables from the first two marimbas coming over. So uh, these cables are just coming this way. Marimba three here has all the clean cabling. Look at all those parallel lines. And then we get to the quick connect or I'm sorry, the uh, the modular snake down here, uh, which I have running to the player side, because again, I want those mod modular snakes uh, going in between the keyboards so that they won't be walked on as much. Um, and uh, this one, this, th that, this mod snake drove me crazy earlier. I spent about 30 minutes trying to figure out why is my Marimba 4 low microphone not coming through in the system. And... Uh, through, through a series of very frustrating trial and errors, I figured out, oh, it's the core cable. So we need to get some new core cables in here, which are the, the middle bits. So you've got the breakout cables that go on the instrument, and then you've got breakout cables that connect to the stage box, and then the, the middle piece is called the core cable. So let me go kind of show you what that looks like. And, and uh, before I do that, I'll just note that Marimba 5 here has two mics and a DTX that just jumps straight over. And this is kind of what I've got it looking like here. And the cables that are on the synth cart go straight into the DI box there. And then there's the, the mic cables right there. Uh, over on the synth cart, the synth cart's a little messy. We have uh, some upgrades coming this year that uh, I'm gonna handle the uh, cleaning of the synth cart once the, those upgrades come in. Uh, anyhow, uh, so yeah, we've got the modular snakes coming in here. They've got the DV25 panel. So I actually have another core cable on the back side of the panel going into the, um, the digital snakes here. I've also got one, two, three, four, red, white, blue, yellow. These are our sideline microphone inputs. We're gonna have four of them this year over here on side two. So I've got these, I've got cables that go from the back of these, which is right here to right here these four and then uh, these are the busted core cables right here again channel 8 on both of these are not working um, so we'll need to get new ones and so this is where the the uh, core cable comes in and meets the mod snake or the breakout cable and the vibraphones are just as simple where we've got vibes uh, one two three four and five and the xylophone here in the middle just has jumper cables bringing the vibe mics um, signal over and so you'll see there it just jumps right on over comes into vibe three 
And this is where I have the breakout cable for the back row vibes. And we're only using five channels back here. And so again, you'll see the cables coming across for vibes four and five, just this way, right there. So real straightforward, it was a long day. Um, I kind of had a late start. There was just some weird stuff that happened today, uh, just leading up to the install and like trying to make sure I had enough like zip ties and stuff like that. Um, their speakers, we have four, well, technically six of them. We've got four uh, upright stacks and then two subs. And so we do two of the uprights and two, you know, like uh, paired with the sub on the insides. And then we have um, another pair that go sort of like outside satellite speakers. And um, I'm hoping at some point we can get them set up with some new speaker frames. These are just old and don't totally lend themselves to cable management very well, um, but we're making do, you know, it's all good. Uh, one of the things I definitely think we should should probably do that is a feasible upgrade, you know, in addition to the mixer cart they got are bigger buckets um, because they've got 75 foot um, combo cables. And I think bigger buckets would probably serve well. Um, but again, for now, this is what we've got. So we're going to do our best with it. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got four, four speakers that go across the field. And that's about it. Um, you know, I can't say this is one of my best walkthrough videos. Again, I'm, I'm not totally feeling very good. Uh, I, just, I just need to rest. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there we go. That's a Lido High. I'm very, very thankful and very proud to be back at this program. I have a, a very um, large sense of ownership with this particular uh, audio system and program. Um, you know, like I said, this is my third full season with them. I've been with them since late, late 2020, but then I did 2021, last year, 2022, and then this year is my third full year. So i um, very pleased to be back with Alito. Uh, awesome, amazing folks and directors. The kids out here, the students are um, just some of the best around. So, um, yeah, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, of course, if you dig the marching audio content. Uh, you know, and if you would like to support the channel and support these videos, then really all you have to do is, is just consider uh, purchasing with my company. Uh, I am a Microphonic Designs as a full, you know, like retailer for pro audio equipment, um, as well as some percussion instruments, uh, Dynasty percussion to be exact. Um, but if you're looking to make upgrades, new cables and mics and uh, field frames and things like that, get a hold of me. That's, that's the best way to, to support the channel. And of course, um, you know, let your director friends know that um, my company is a thing. I, I certainly appreciate that, that support. So uh, anyhow, y'all, take it easy. Get some rest. I know this time of year it's tough <laughs> to get rest for those of us that do uh, marching band. Um, but, uh, you know, take, take Sunday <laughs> to get some sleep. That's what I need to do. Um, Still got a couple more installs left for this year, but uh, soon we'll be into rehearsal season and I'll be missing the installations. <laughs> so, all right, y'all. Take it easy. Peace.